What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a Curiosity Rover picture from Saw 747. This was sent to me a little while ago from my buddy Chell. Haven't got a chance to get out some of his, uh, he sends me all sorts of good stuff. I tell you what, this, he's like a wealth of information. He doesn't miss a thing. And uh, really, Underground Mars is what I, a lot of my a lot of subscribers have come and talked to me about it. I've got emails people just have written me. It actually would be interesting. I don't know if you guys would like it one day. I'll sit and, and read some of these emails to you guys. Just some great thoughts about the universe, Mars, um, things living underground. And if things were going to be underground, what you would expect to see would be tubing having to come up to the surface. I mean, I don't, can't imagine things could live underground totally by themselves. But I would imagine, too, that if you say you had something coming up, it would be it would come up and it would be curved over and down because if you had something up, I mean, the wind could blow the sand into it. It would be pretty hard for sand to blow in right there. And if you get what I'm saying here, I've got this picture up right here. And where I'm circled, you can see what looks to be a tube or something coming up. Um, it's there. I mean, we can't say <laughs> – I can't deny that it's not there. It's pretty – pretty amazing and this whole picture itself has what I call the obfuscation the, the blinds effects put all over it where you get these where there's parallel lines it seems like either the cameras can't do this or what I think is the rover's design to to put these lines in and when I say that let me show you I've got this up in uh, Photoshop this is the original right here um, I'll show you that it is just real quick by um, this thing's been so oh, sorry guys. This thing's been so touchy lately. My my trackpad. I haven't complained about my trackpad in hundreds of videos. It's getting old school on you guys. This whole picture is kind of interesting. It's got what well, it seems to be the uh, this whole area down here, but over here, and here's where I'm talking about these these blinds marks. It's like they get put in whenever there's two parallel lines that uh, that seem to follow each other. Here, 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 here. Now, it's not always. Some of the newer pictures don't have them. Some of the older ones do. And there's some real interesting formations in this whole thing just in general. Um, it looks like a piece of strata the way they've got it marked out. They put these in there to confuse you. And also the colors that have been put in there to confuse you. And I've pulled them out a little bit more in this here. You can see these colors are absolutely 100% in this picture. And let me show you here. Watch. I just pulled them out a little more. See? That's the one directly from NASA. So not only are you getting these blind effects that throw you off um, they're using these lightning effects and boy it does it messes with your head and it doesn't you know it doesn't allow you to see the picture exactly but look at the intricate um, tubing or whatever is in this picture right here you can see it it this it goes up and under this piece here uh, have you ever looked out your back door and seen rocks that look like this if, if so please somebody send me a picture will at willfrar.net been waiting for it um, this more what looks to be more tubing um, and not all of it even down here too and wait till you see you can see how much that they that something is something or someone at some point looks to have uh, hidden some stuff down here I mean look just look in general at the uh, difference in grain between right here and then right here um, how it looks like something's been blurred out in this area now, a lot of my buddies would take the blur tool and would, would mess around with that, not the blur tool, the uh, burn tool, and try and pull some of that out. And uh, I've done that a lot, and I, I'm not sure if I get 100%. I, I'm not still sold on that whole effect of getting that stuff out because I've pulled some really neat stuff out, but I can also go out back and pull, you know, take pictures and, and pull stuff out of my yard. So, but I'm, I'm thinking right here looks to be, you know, just kind of tinkered with. Now, the question is, a lot of people come and say, well, why would they put any of this stuff out in general? I don't know. <laughs> you know, why not just not let it come down? And here's the, the main piece we were looking at. Let's see if, if that's, you know, if, if it's just a, uh, you know, optical illusion, something like that. I checked around the other pictures um, from that day just to see if there was any anything else to show this area. And I couldn't find another picture of this that was well. But that does, from here, seems to look like something that comes up and comes right down and just stops. You know, there seems to be a disconnect here. This doesn't look like a rock that's behind it. Um, now, as I scroll through, the, these are just the various things I've pulled out on here. And these, what I did was, here, let me show you this one. This one, I actually blurred it a little bit first. 
um, to try and get rid of some of those. You, now you can see the colors, but notice how a lot of the, uh, the actual blinds marks themselves are gone. Here you'll see it right here. Um, and the color remains. See that? Now you're, you're able to get around it a little bit, but then you get a lot of these patchy parts right here. Um, but I don't know, guys. There's some interesting stuff. Just this piece here seems to be kind of cool. It just seems almost looks to have some sort of writing or if it could have been writing like i said and i see what i see you see what you see this stuff could just be rocks i just put this stuff out here for you guys to watch it you know i said take a stroll through mars um there seems to be a lot more on there i've got a lot more pictures i got so many videos that i just been so busy i haven't had a chance to do that many videos lately and uh just taking a little break last one i did on the moon was pretty cool i thought it was awesome the uh those those two pieces out there that maurice had found i found those two uh newer pictures and they're just definitely something something's going on on the moon now this piece is just kind of cool just kind of sitting there upright it almost like it's uh was cut to put there could have just fallen down the mountain could be this piece right here that fell off but it is pretty interesting how it sits there um, oop. sorry about that this piece here too just looked out of place this rock compared to the rest of them to me I thought was kind of interesting um, it looked a little bit out of place let me put the color version of it on it almost looked like they uh, I don't know it just seems to have like these little in the back it's got some some interesting see how around here it's like got that really white tint and that just could be from the Sun you know pulling that out but anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Comment below. The, the main thing here, and, you know, that might not, even out here in the background, there's some interesting stuff just laying out there. It looks like debris. Like I said, I think Mars was just totally thrashed at one time, as I make you guys probably sick as I'm rolling through here. Um, my buddy Chell pointed out a couple other things on here, too. He said, oh, yeah, this thing right here. Let's go let's take a look at this right here. This piece is pretty cool. It looks like this was a functioning something at one time. It doesn't just look like a standard just rock just sitting there. Seems how it has uh, it looks like tubing again, and it's just. And let me go back to the. You can even see it here. This seems to have a really nice curve on it, um, almost like it was manufactured with that curve. You don't see that curve too much throughout this whole piece right here. Uh, once again, you just get these effects. Look, it's blurred out right here in the center. I can, you can tell it's blurred out, and I hope you guys can see this. Um, hopefully your 1080 will, will let you see this. See how you can see the marks really well in here? It's really defined. And then right here, there's just a line that's been added. It looks like a blur right through there. And over here, it gets, you know, where you can see it again. So whatever depth or whatever was sitting right in there, you really don't get a chance to see that well. Um, I think that's probably where the blur mark would have really looked like, or using that burn tool to pull stuff out. But... Here, like I said, this is, look how, look how, like, your eyes, really, this is just amazing what these little effects do. They really just make this stuff, and they put, I know they put this color on top of it, and it just makes it look like simple, just rocks out there. Um, this was just, all I did here, here, uh, basically, was I left the little lines in there so you could see the difference when you add the color to it. I mean, look at that. I mean, the color, like, pink, purple. It's like the whole rainbow they did. But this piece over here was just interesting to me. But right here, I mean, if you were living underground on Mars, and I'm not saying I... I, I don't know. I still... My mind's not made up. I'm ever, ever researching. You know what I mean? And a research should never really have their mind made up, I think. So... Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. What's up in the sky at 37? Check out the website www.whatsupinthesky.com. Lots of good people out there posting uh, their videos, articles, all sorts of good stuff. Sign up for it. There's going to be some, uh, you know, there's a form out there. Once you sign up, you can you can post to it. You know, post your own things. So, all right, guys, much love. Peace.